It is finally sunrise on this beautiful Tuesday as I venture to capture the action in Kansas City. We start our day at the Kansas City Southern Yard located on Front Street. I was here last night to take some night shots and decided to capture some of the power in the daylight. Locomotives included a few PRLX X Santa Fe SD75s, a Canadian Pacific GP22C which is a rebuilt GP38-2, some Kansas City Southern and Canadian Pacific Yard Power, and this gem, the Kansas City Southern Geometry Train. Time was not wasted since I wanted to get to Santa Fe Junction rather quickly. When we arrive at Santa Fe Junction, we catch this northbound coal train led by Union Pacific Power. Moments later, we catch a meet with a Norfolk Southern Order Act train and a BNSF ethanol. Next is this BNSF power move with some interesting power on the rear end. The GP30 is an ex-Burlington Northern unit with added PTC equipment on its cab roof. Since Santa Fe Junction was kind of slow, I decided to head to West Bottoms. While on the way to West Bottoms, I stumbled across this Union Pacific power move heading to Santa Fe Junction with a surprise in the mix. We head back to catch it at Santa Fe Junction. To my surprise, a manifest led by Kansas City Southern EMD power gets the clear to pass through the junction. I quickly position myself to catch both movements.
UP power move finally reaches Santa Fe Junction. Number 1988 is painted in the colors of the Missouri, Kansas, and Texas, as known as the Katy. It is one out of six SD-70 ACEs painted for the Union Pacific Heritage Program. You can find these units roaming around the country with the numbers being the year in which they were merged into the Union Pacific family. I was very excited to catch this locomotive. Since I am from the Northeast, it is very rare to see these. And the Katy is my favorite heritage of all the locomotives ever painted by both Norfolk Southern and Union Pacific. The rear of the Kansas City Southern train clears the junction and we head to our next location. On our way to West Bottoms, I was stuck behind this awesome BNSF race with a Faramex Jivo. Faramex is a railroad out of Mexico. We finally reach West Bottoms. Here the tracks form an S-curve passing the once existing Union Depot. These old buildings are relics of years gone by when this area used to be a very busy one for the city. I am parked on Bluff Road, just off of Forrester Road. Only waiting about 45 minutes, my goal was met as I caught this Union Pacific train heading through West Bottoms. When the train cleared, it was time to head to our next location. We finally arrived at the Amtrak station, which is the old Kansas City Union Station. I parked in the garage, which is fairly affordable. Then I walked up to the Main Street overpass to capture the action from above with the city in the background. We watch as a BNSF intermodal departs the station heading to Argentine Yard. Sit back and relax as I play some jazz and watch some of the action at the station.
With the lighting in my favor, I ventured back to West Bottoms. Down Forrester Road, across from the S-curve, is this location. BNSF and Union Pacific run past these old warehouses. Let's watch a couple of Union Pacific trains as they pass by these old relics. Again, following the sunlight, I was off to our next location. On the way, I quickly captured these BNSF trains with some colorful consists. The 12th Street Overpass, just off of Metropolitan Avenue, is a great place to watch BNSF trains coming in and out of Argentine Yard. The Missouri River runs parallel to the tracks. You can watch train after train here, as long as you are willing to put up with traffic and the public coming on and off the bridge. A couple of intermodals head to the yard with some great lash-ups. The stop intermodal finally departs for the yard. Intermodals can be very long and require DPUs in the middle and the end of these trains. Luck was on my side as these BNSF trains race out of the yard. Note the X Santa Fe AC44 on the manifest freight on the right side.
as you can see it is possible to see a two to three way meet here. With nothing else moving, I drove to Argentine Yard. Now this was an experience of a lifetime. Between the massive engine terminal, facility, yard and main lines going through the yard, there is plenty of action to be seen. You can drive on Argentine Boulevard and shoot the terminal. I parked off of the Goddard Viaduct to watch some of the action. My next location was the fuel racks and the tower in Argentine Yard. You can park at the McDonald's and walk up South 42nd Street to view the action. Let's watch some of the Argentine Yard action. After that awesome experience, I was off to Jack Stack Barbecue to buy some dinner. Of course, train after train went through Union Station with some awesome lash ups.
My next stop was that Mid-America Car Incorporation. This is just off of Front Street by the Kansas City Southern Yard. Here's where they rebuild locomotives. Let's see what they have. After that quick visit, I was back at Santa Fe Junction, only this time I parked on West 27th Street overpass just off of Southwest Boulevard. Here there is a beautiful old roundhouse with a passenger car on the turntable. This Union Pacific train passes over Santa Fe Junction as this BNSF train heads onto the Fort Scott subdivision, passing right through Burlington Northern Junction. As the storm clouds roll in, we are back at Santa Fe Junction. As nighttime approaches, we see our last train for the day. What a great way to end our first day in Kansas City. I would like to thank everyone for watching. Stay tuned for day two as we head to Sugar Creek, Missouri, along the Marceline subdivision.